Hey, it's me, Big P, finishing up around day two of the league, and we have moved into a cast on crit setup, so I wanted to go over my current state of gear and some of the experimentation I've done and, you know, what's worked, what hasn't, and other cool findings, just stuff like that. Let me mouse over the gear real quick. The energy blade is actually kind of at a low amount. Kind of been torn between, as you can see, I'm not using a ghost right anymore because I wanted to go into the six link. Um, but that's had its own issues. We're still doing the magic thing where if you have these things with empty sockets, you get other bonuses. Upgraded the rings. We did get an early divine drop, so I was able to invest in some critical pieces like the Shaper's Touch and the Astramentus. And I uh, did the attribute quality. You know, once I just wanted to get that squared away, especially because I was considering maybe using a Cosprey as well. There's a couple different spells that I've been experimenting with. Right now we are just using Ice Nova with Spell Blade. I'm using Power Charge on Critical for consistency, but increased crit's probably better overall. Um, and then the rest of it is just like Frost Blink. I think I'm using different orders. I'm not going low life yet. Uh, it's really more of a hybrid uh, way. So let me just show off uh, exactly what it looks like. It's a cast on crit build. I'm going to be cycloning around. Um, I will say this will be, you know, a closed map. So it's a little bit better than it usually is. Because um, now the build is having the usual cast on crit issues of having reach, um, you know, or not having it rather being, you know, you're doing melee spells. So I will attempt to do the lead mechanic here. They did just nerf the, whatchamacallit, uh, the power that it is. Uh, just pay attention here in the bottom right to see when it's triggering, just to see how consistent the setup is right now. It does seem pretty good, but I do, I'll, I'll point out, you know, how I got there. And just like, you know, what it took, what steps you really need to take to get the cast on crit going. I did have the initial setup with, all right, we're gonna die here, I think. You usually die to these because it's just like the chaos damage. Just, it, it's just a real clusterfuck. I, I wanted to do cast on crit because I thought I'd just like cleave through. Um, but let's see. We're having issues with sustain. I, I think, yeah, see? Sustain, mitigation, and just the cast on crit. If you're not at the level where you're one-shotting stuff, you're just kind of spinning around. And even though they are chilled and frozen as we're pushing into higher level maps, it's definitely going to be an issue. Um, at least as far as doing the league mechanic alongside progression, which I kind of said I wasn't going to. But, you know, to give a, a more, you know, league focused version of uh the thing here let's let's see how well we can do the map itself now that some i think the empowered monsters now aren't that tricky but yeah like i said not having reach uh really makes me want to go into the tried and tested cost breeze with uh frost bolt and ice nova um but i'm kind of gonna snitch on myself with the the interaction being like i mean i know Palstron kind of mentioned it, the new one being that comes from the Ice Novas, the Frost Bolts that come out of the Ice Novas, or vice versa. Not going to do the Glennon. Uh, you know what, I actually might need some bases. Let's do a quick one. Uh, let's see this one first. Here. Hold on. Do it this way. Whatever, let's just get it done. Let's let's do a portal just in case. Like I said, I'm not crazy about oh, there's Lori's Lantern going to use. See the sustain is an issue. I want to get some leech. I need to get some regen. Honestly, I might not be feeling battle mage overall if we do go into a cost freeze. So it's a good amount of flat damage, but it's like, I don't know. Without Pious Path, I'm really feeling like kind of, you know at a loss for how I'm supposed to get proper sustain on this build. Um, maybe that's just my issue with, you know, not being able to, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> kind of just cheese it really. Yeah, these are, these are tough when they're boosted up. We're getting through it, but it's not easy. It feels just very inconsistent, you know, some, when they get powered and they have, even though I do have three labs, I should, still should need to do my Uber lab. Probably gonna do that tomorrow before we go for the tier 16s. And the watchstones. I don't know. We'll see. I think we're already at a point where I might very quickly reroll into oh shit. A god damn it. A magic finder just for like basic map farming. I think a low level map farming strap might actually be better for farming the um 
league mechanic if that is something you're interested in just because it's going to be really difficult to build together that can actually do the league mechanic consistently along with other mechanics as you can see here they just kind of stack up and get real tricky this one's that yeah this guy's like real because he's he's not even wild boosted this is just a a runic guy with life regen that's doing big attacks to me. See, like, I don't know. It just feels really inconsistent on, on, on some extra cold damage and exposure. And he's like regening, so you know what we're just gonna loot. It's the build has definitely not been as good since I swapped over and I'm like trying new stuff. And I'll really show you the experiment that I'm going for. I just don't want to brick this map uh, right now, so I'm just gonna grab the stuff and run past the rare. We are still in a, a spot where we're figuring stuff out and not everything is together, so. You know, that's... it's just a waste of time. You get to live. Um, beyond that, I mean, it's been fun, it's been smooth. I think really, more realistically, once we get an actual gear set up, we should get some, like, cast on... Uh, cast on damage taken, like, sort of defensive layers set up here. You know, we have to get something together. Start running determination and things like that instead of all these other little words. Um, I am using stuff like precision and vitality. Um, haven't gone low life yet. I don't know if I will. I'm kind of torn between the two versions of the build that I want to try. One is more of the meme versions with both Frost Bomb and Voltaxic Rift in main links. Um, like with like less duration as well. Oh, Ichimanji, that could be sold for a good bit. Uh, I don't need to do this, thank God, because I already have a couple. And surely this strong, powerful build won't fail the Uber Lab, right? I don't know. I did some uh, some yellow maps. I feel like I tear through, and then like there you run into that one rare mob that just fucking ruins your day, especially if it's boosted by the league mechanics. So it's felt a little inconsistent, but otherwise kind of smooth. I don't know. Still, still a lot to put together with cast on crit. A lot, a lot of ways to go, and this is definitely kind of like in the middling ground where it's like not every piece is together yet. There are some things that are here that are working, but it's a little bit something more has got to happen for it to really take off and be consistent otherwise it's going to kind of feel meh but luckily this is the sort of build that you can kind of invest in and have it feel okay let's see the boss damage and pay attention as well to the uh see that feels kind of decent but the thing is it's like you know it's oh, he's gonna cyclone okay there you go that wasn't that bad um it's, it's you know classic path of exile like there's that one rare monster that's like 20 times harder than the the map boss so you kind of get a little bit discouraged sometimes when you're running the map and in terms of actual progression it's like yeah i'm like almost halfway done with the atlas you know we're just making it happen so let's go over um the upgrades i mean i guess i mean it's really just the the pieces that we are going towards for the stat stacking version like shaper's touch and astramentus we still have crown of thorns probably look into crafting a be much better helmet uh especially because it's now more flexible you don't have to like run a lab service or something and then rings i mean yeah what does the lori's lantern do right i mean once you're low life it's really it's probably best for a low life uh, version of the build when i have that set up um which i can i can pop an arrogance here for my determination clarity and vitality probably um i think i'll look into that just to get low life and then Maybe Petrified Blood? I don't know. There's like a lot of stuff that you can kind of try. Um, I'm still not 100% sold on like going deep into the items on Lance's build. Uh, kind of want to try something because Cost Breeze is 5 Chaos last time I checked. Like if I could just plug a Cost Breeze in here instead and just, you know, maybe try and keep the Battle Mage. But honestly, I mean, going for Augury kind of seems whack. Like Sanctuary and then Pi's Path seems like it might be better. Um, if not, just because, you know, if you're not going to really be taking advantage of Battle Mage, it's kind of a meme. Uh, the, the the meme of, you know, big, flat energy blade damage, you know, working for sure. It's definitely, like, look at when I, I deactivate energy. So you got 21k tooltip, turn off energy blade, it, like, more than doubles the damage. You know, it's it's a huge flat amount, but you got to be careful, like, what you're using it with. Speaking of which, let's run a white map with uh, the setup that I bought this um this six link four where i'm using lusteration frost bomb and voltaxic burst to bring down the duration so i'm going to turn these here 
so that you can see when these are toggled toxic burst and frost bomb basically um we're just gonna do a real quick uh showcase of it on like a tight map i guess let's do a glacier um just blop it here just so that you can kind of see why i want to try something like this i all i do ultimately think it's it's a it's a meme too far i don't think it's actually gonna work but I did just want to show it off. This is like the sort of thing I had in my brain, my galaxy brain idea when I was looking at like stuff. It's like Frostbomb has a really good effectiveness of added damage and the instability one, the new one doesn't have a cooldown that's usually been built in. So you can trigger it with cast on crit. I'm just doing it just because you pretty much can. And then similarly, Voltaxic Burst has like a duration after it's triggered. So you can have a bunch of them. Um, it actually does more damage the more that you have triggered. So, I mean, I don't know. It's it, 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 it's kind of cool because you can see the frost bombs are like laid at their feet, so they like cover up stragglers. Um, but that alone doesn't feel great because then like stuff that you're next to isn't being dealt damage. But if you have a voltaxic uh, burst on you, then it kind of like detonates. You know, it's I don't know. Is it too much? Is it is it too memey? Like kind of like you have to you know when you're the, the double cock in one link is is too much i should probably just pick one and it probably should be voltaxic burst but that's like we've never been able to trigger frost bomb on i mean i think you can trigger frost bomb on cast on crit but like what's the point of triggering cast on crit on something if it has a cooldown the entire point of cast on crit is to trigger shit like over and over and over super fast so let's see if i can run it without clarity no okay so so as far as like costs go you kind of get to um there's some like small things on the tree that you can do like get uh skills cost life instead of mana cost i also have the mana mastery here um i don't really need the reservation efficiency of skills so i could probably use the reduced mana cost uh but i don't know like it, it, it's gonna be very difficult to balance everything to actually make a consistent cock build i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm torn Especially because I was self-casting um, the old classic standby. Oh, let's do the ultimatum. Stand in the stone circles. Oy, oy, oy. Um, I was doing Ice Nova with Frost Bolts with the Ice Nova that specifically does more damage, a lot more damage when it's hit with off the Frost Bolt. And so... That's kind of what's making me want to go for the old classic cost freeze, but it's, it's, you know, I'll do as many of these as I can, I guess, but. Let's go for the chaos damage over time. It's been a while. I think they added, like, new stuff to ultimatum that I'm still not 100% uh, familiar with, so. Forgive me if I rip, like I've been ripping before, the build still has a ways to go. Uh-uh. And yeah, I am doing, keep in mind, I'm doing the meme setup here, so not exactly the most consistent type of damage here. But you can see in the toolbar, I mean, it's triggering pretty consistently, I think, um, even without like a full, an actual consistent, really the, the crit chance is, is the second thing after the chance to hit, but precision helps with both. And then I was able to allocate depth perception on the tree, which helps. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So yeah, I don't know. With with less duration in main links, I mean, it, it does end up working. Uh, oh, well, I probably should have done that one. My auras are pretty good, so I'm probably like healing shit now and giving them a bunch of good stuff. This one's getting tricky. I think we'll call it here. I want to take more deaths. Yeah, 11 jewelers. Uh, I'm good off that. 
Again, we're still not feeling super consistent. It's even in a tier one map, like, you know, we just don't have the, the layers we usually have because we're trying to make too many memes work. We're trying to force cock into a an early setup without everything really being as consistent as it should be. It is fun, but I don't know. Like, you kind of should value the consistency of a league starter a bit more than the fun factor, but I'm going to play the shit out of this league. I don't really mind. Oh, wow. I didn't realize <laughs> I have the new thing. Each one of the uniques get blasted. See, because, like, that's my idea. It's like when it is together, when they're both being triggered together, there's a lot of damage being done there, you know? Like, I don't know. It's it, it's probably ultimately too magical Christmas land, and I should either do just one consistent spell and go for the, you know, the whole actual setup here. But the one thing that's keeping me from just going all into it is the, where is it? The Ice Nova. Because I'm pretty sure if you do it with, if you're shooting it from a Frostbolt, that is, let me just show you. I mean, let's just do, can we do both? Like, no, there's no way to do it both. I'd have to self-cast it. So let's just, so basically it's a, you do the Frostbolt and then you get the, where is it? I'm leveling it here, right? Greater Volley. So it's Frostbolt and Greater Volley. And then you have the Ice Nova here. We're just going to cast just for demonstration purposes. So I was self-casting it where I go like this. And then all of those, you, know, you can you can like link that with, um, you know, any damage links and stuff like that. Long story short, you can shotgun because it, it can expand from up to four frostbolt projectiles. So if you have four, Greater Volley gives you five altogether. It's like multiple instances of the damage that you're doing. And now with the with everything set up, you know, you're we're talking about let, let's compare. Let's let's go run a map real quick. Or not even run the whole map, just you know, to to give you an idea. So the new Ice Nova setup is intentionally made so that it doesn't do much damage. I mean, it still will do a bunch of damage because they have a lot of flat damage. But when it's not done, like, look, see? Not a lot of damage, right? Now watch this. I don't think that's just... It, it does 50% more when it's when it's cast off the Frostbolt, but that looks like a lot more than 50% more. That looks like old-school shotgunning. But that's a potentially extremely strong... I mean, with the self-cast, it is a little clunky. Especially if you're used, I was used to casting it. Um, you know, I was leveling with Ice Nova, so like in this case, you kind of have to recast it unless you're walking along with it, because you won't be doing damage where you're clicking for for quite a while. And then when you do, you do want to be casting it off the Frostbolt. But it seems almost unintendedly strong. It almost seems like something that you want to take advantage of before they fix it. You know, I went from you know doing like okay, I need to cast about like you know. Uh, a little under a dozen times to kill a rare to just killing it with one or two waves of this because I'm pretty sure they're shotgunning in a way that you know I mean maybe it is intended but it just feels extremely powerful as as far as you know setting up the one two combo though this is a classic sort of setup you know this used to just be a build on its own I think it's a little too clunky for modern path of exile so you'd want to set it up with a cast on crit and everything like that um but yeah like I said, I'm being pulled in a bunch of different directions because we're experimenting, and I think the Frost Bonville Taxic Burst meme, unless unless someone has a really good idea of how to make it work, like if there's some unique that like really fucks with duration in a proper way, like please let me know. Um, take a look and see, because I'm, I'm down to try it, but I kind of would like to just maybe just have the consistent stat stack set up and then maybe just do... Ice Nova on something else. I don't know. There's, there might be a better ascendancy to do the the cost freeze version with. Um, but either way, yeah, that's this. Is, so this is what I was doing before I swapped over to Cock. I should show you my pair of gloves, but it's really just an essence of horror that gives it base crit that helps you before you get more consistent crit. 
Um, like I said, consistent chance to hit and consistent critical strike chance on your attack is necessary before you get into cast on crit, but you know, you should be able to have a usable. See, like that versus this night and day yeah it's not just 50 percent more like i'm pretty sure there's a lot i was basically losing my mind because the difference it, once you got used to like the play style of it which is honestly pretty like complete because it's just a wave of consistent damage that's being done uh it's quite nice um you'll see on the boss i mean it's if nothing else it's a ranged way to deal damage which can feel nice in some map layouts, especially if you're like trying to cock in, a, in an open layout and it's not feeling too great. Um, I will upload a POB of my current setup here, but everything is subject to change. We will go live for more on Sunday. Try and finish up the Atlas or at least get the two watchstones. Just keep on keeping on. I might, I don't know, after the first two, I probably might just buy carries for the other two and then set up the magic finder. Um, or push this. Let me know really if you have any ideas of things you'd want to see shoved in the cock because I'm open to them. So let's see right here. Pretty decent. When the, it, the frost bolts can get eaten by walls, um, but it's not that. Oh, well. Let's see. So that actually wasn't even that good. So maybe, I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, I'm, I'm torn up. I'm just going to keep playing and, and keep making some money and some progress and probably pull out the rest of the gear for the stat stack version. And then maybe reroll into a cost freeze either on a different character or change this character to that. Either way, let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if you have any ideas of what I should do um, regarding cast on crit or if you want to see something tried you can come by the stream and uh, I'll surely will try it because I do have a six link now um, it's a corrupted shit one so I guess maybe we'll just pour some currency into trying to six link an ivory tower to have a more consistent baseline for the energy blade version that Cat Captain Lance has set up because we are getting some of the pieces together and it's it's feeling okay it's just a little in that in that middling you know the growing pains it's a little squishy it doesn't have great mitigation or recovery we're gonna figure it out okay this was too rambly we I had too much stuff to go over i didn't even go over it properly because none of it is properly together but you know first first weekend first league weekend stuff um thank you for watching let me know uh how your league's going and what the hell's going on and if you found more than one of these uh ascendancy points on on this this one i want to get more or swap back i want to i want to do a lot this league clearly so i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.